Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Davey Deathray here. Yeah, we're double dipping today, twice in one day. You should be so lucky. Actually, I should be so lucky, I suppose. Um, I see Allie there. What's happening, Allie? Kate and the kittens. Yeah, Kate is out uh, in the main room there. She has been a friggin' cleaning fiend all day today, uh, so I told her I'd give her a little shout out. You know, we're pretty good about, like, divvying up the chores and all that stuff, um, but today she's definitely been uh, doing the brunt or carrying the brunt of the labor there. So um, I've got everything pulled up on the other computer so I can keep an eye on the chat while we watch the movie and everything together. And Ali, I hope you can hang out for a good little bit, but I totally get it. Uh, tomorrow's a holiday, so I'd imagine that maybe you're prepping some food or just getting everything in order so you can have a really nice relaxing Easter uh, with some family, friends, or both. Um, so yeah, let me know guys in the, uh, in the chat what you're doing for uh, the Easter holiday tomorrow. What's happening, Andrew? How are you doing, man? All right, guys, so I've got like a whole bunch of crap all around me that you can't really tell. Um, but to get ready for the occasion, we've got our super awesome Jason mask here. Um, got a, a machete as well, don't worry. Hey guys, it's okay. He just wanted his machete back. Um, yeah. So, uh, just had to bring that just for the fun of it. Um, and then I've got some popcorn in a cool little popcorn bucket, you know, for the occasion. So, uh, I'll be, uh, choking on a husk any second here. I've also got a little cucumber melon fizzy water in a Friday the 13th little plastic commemorative cup. So, that's kind of fun. And then, um, I've got... A dad's root beer in this cup so and that's I'm not even done yet this is ridiculous but I wanted to have a really good time with you guys and not have to move at all or anything what's happening Gene welcome to the chat welcome to the stream so um, I know I always tell you guys I grew up in Juneau Alaska so this is I don't know if you can tell there it says uh, Alaskan brewery so that's from my hometown um, I don't know if you guys have been able to ever try Alaskan beer I don't I don't know, Andrew, where you are in the country. I'd imagine Alaskan outside of the West Coast might be kind of hard to come by, unless you go to like a specialty shop or something. But I have a little dad's root beer. I love root beer if I'm watching a movie. And I got it bottled so I could have, um, you know, real cane sugar instead of the corn syrup. And then this one's for Vin. I don't know if he's going to drop in the chat. I hope we see him pop in at least for a second, but I totally understand everyone's you know, living their lives, but I heard him say on the chat yesterday, I know he really liked baked, he likes baked goods, like, um, you know, like cookies, brownies, cakes, that kind of thing, but I heard him say that he really likes the Cadbury mini eggs, I love these as well, as a kid, I loved the bigger egg with all the, you know, creamy sugar in there, uh, but as an adult, I just don't need as much of that, I really like the kind of, um, kind of a white chocolate, almost whipped cream sort of flavor of the candy shell. And of course the Cadbury chocolate is, as far as American milk chocolate goes, I think it's second to none. Um, so, I mean, we can talk about like German chocolate all day because German chocolate destroys um, so much of what we do here. And I'm kind of like a dark chocolate sort of guy, but I really like this. Um, that's awesome, Allie. Hell yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get into the movie here pretty quick, but I wanted to hop on over um, you know, how many of you, have you guys all donated to the, or either donated to the campaign or bought a perk? Let me know in the chat over there. Um, I'm curious to know, uh, just that way I won't like, you know, drone on too long here about the campaign. Since after tomorrow, it's not really going to, you know, mean very much as far as um, sharing it since uh, the campaign ends tomorrow. Uh, or at least, what, tomorrow night at midnight, I think. So tomorrow's the last day to pick something up. What's happening? All the good names are taken podcast. I'd imagine, is that Ronnie? Is that Ronnie in the chat? What's happening, Blu-ray addict? All right. Well, hey, guys. So let's go ahead and head on over to the site and check out some stuff. Um, let me know if uh, you guys can hear me okay and everything looks all right. Gosh, it looks like I'm really bright, but whatever. I, you know, I'm just kind of a pasty white uh, descendant of, um, you know, Irish and English people. <laughs> so... Oh, this is just the way I really look, unfortunately. But hey, let's go check out the the website here. So, 
Yeah, you can see that they have raised um, just over three hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars in this campaign. I think about three hundred of that went into you know the actual production, like before they went filming. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone that knows, uh, but yeah, I mean it's that's a an awesome amount of money, especially for a fan film, and it seems like um, just a shitload of money in general. But you know, as far as making movies go. Um, <laughs> thanks, Ronnie. As far as making movies go, three hundred twenty-nine thousand isn't, uh, you know, really that much money in the whole scheme of things. So I wanted to take a look at some of the perk options here. So you can strictly just donate if you'd like to. Um, you can purchase a, a Blu-ray here. Um, pretty awesome stuff. I mean, thirty bucks for a Blu-ray. That's pretty much what you would pay for, you know, a. a theater released movie once it comes out on blu-ray and then you know if you come on down here for 15 bucks you could do the digital camper so you get um, digital copies of the movie the soundtrack the script and a wallpaper um, you can also go back and purchase um, you know a never hike alone legacy blu-ray and it looks like does that come with a uh, never hike in the snow and it's got the ghost cut so it puts both those movies together along with the disappear video and i think the ghost cut also has like some extra um, like news bits that they filmed. Um, I, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the chat. Uh, we've got some posters available, 35 bucks each for a whole slew of posters. Um, or wait, do you get all of them? Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you get all of them or if you get, yeah, it says posters. So 35 bucks, maybe you get um, you know, multiple in there. And then, uh, this is really cool. The Jarvis versus Jason Blu-ray, um, where you get a card that's signed by Tom Matthews, Vincent DeSanti, Brian Forrest, Andrew Lady, and it's a, a red Blu-ray case instead of that blue one that we saw up top. So a nice little special edition. Then you can get the whole collection for a hundred bucks. Um, another 10 bucks on top of that, you get those, uh, you know, the signet or you get the, yeah, you get the version that's got the signature card in there. So yeah, whole bunch of really cool stuff here. The camper pack's got the shirt, the enamel pin, and the poster. Um, that Jarvis versus Jason pack's awesome. There's some hats. Uh, looks like a sweatshirt there, poster, some cards. Um, well worth the money. Like I said in my post on my socials, I think, you know, spending your hard-earned dollars on people that are hardworking doing stuff like this, I think supporting independent artists is one of the best ways you can spend your money. So yeah, let's, uh, oh my gosh, the Rick Cologne head smash prop. All right, yeah, a whole bunch of really great stuff. Screen used uh, lake bed ghost Jason. Like, you know, I know 2,500, I don't have that kind of money, but if I did, I am the kind of nut and the kind of weirdo that would buy something like this. Absolutely. And then we've got, it looks like this one's all been purchased up, the special edition uh, VHS bundle. That's that's pretty killer. Anyone that's got that VHS bundle, only 130 and it looks like you still get a Blu-ray with it. So that's pretty killer. There are only 13 of those. So yeah, guys, visit the site. There is a link in the description below so you can check out the Womp Stomp um, Indiegogo site and uh, either donate or purchase a perk through the campaign uh, all the way through tomorrow, um, till tomorrow, or through tomorrow, sorry. And then uh, I've got links in there for their YouTube page, as well as the the full film, if you just want to go watch, you know, the film without me in the little corner there. So you could certainly go that route. And yeah, let's see what you guys are saying here in the chat. Everything is normal. Sound great, and it looks good. All right. Yes, I, I you know, I'm just pale, Ronnie. I don't know what to tell you. 250000 <laughs> You know, I, that's funny. I don't, that's, that's good stuff. You guys are hilarious, man. I've been watching a lot of your stuff, um, especially since being gifted the membership, going in and watching the membership videos. I like, you guys give each other such uh, a good amount of shit, uh, awesome, good natured ribbing. And I think my favorite thing about watching your guys' videos is everything will just be kind of going along like you're talking about the movie and then boom, out of nowhere, some something totally out of left field that just has me like snickering or shooting my drink through my nose. So really appreciate what you guys do over there. And I really like that series. I, I don't know. I've only seen like two videos where you do it. Maybe I'm just missing some, but the, uh, the one where you ruin a movie, I love that idea of ruining a movie. There's some of the stuff that you guys, you and Blake say in that, that, uh, really get me. Um, so yeah, 
uh, if you guys are haven't done that in a while, I'd love to see another one of those ruined episodes come in. Blu-ray Addict, I totally agree. If they ever make a new movie, they should get Vincent DeSanti to direct it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and uh, let's see. It's so awesome. He's that good that people paid him to make it. Yeah, I, it's amazing what they've been able to do, what Womp Stomp has done from the first Never Hike Alone, moving to Never Hike in the Snow, and then this like awesome, just the culmination, the achievement of Never Hike Alone 2. Uh, it looks the best out of all three of them. The production value is incredible. And yeah, I agree. I think uh, they should get a crack at putting Jason uh, to the big screen again. Even if a, a major studio is behind it, which of course would be the case, um, you know, if they sort of hired out the studio to work for them and then, you know, supplied any extra help and of course, you know, the funds to uh, to do it. So yeah, Blake and Ronnie are freaking hilarious. Ronnie, you were giving me all sorts of crap in the chat yesterday. <laughs> I was like, am I pissing him off? By I'm like, oh, because I'm talking about stuff right before you mention it. I could see how that would be a little like, er. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a freaking loud mouth, boisterous guy. So, um, so you know, sometimes I just rub people the wrong way, even when I'm trying not to. But yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. You guys are very fun. Very fun to watch. Really dig it. Um, at first, I was like, are these guys twins? It sounds like you guys are maybe just a few years apart or just a couple years apart. Um, but I love that back and forth. I have a couple old, older brothers and there's a, you know, like a 10 year gap between one of my brothers and then a four year gap between my other brother. So, um, you know, a whole bunch of great bonding experiences growing up with my oldest brother, Matt, who's 10 years older than me. Um, whole lot of watching movie like he exposed me to all sorts of movies close encounters of the third kind the original alien i watched terminator 2 and i think the first terminator with him for the very first time too so um that's been kind of our relationship is like you know ever since i was a little kid he'd take me to the theater or we'd rent something and watch it at home it was pretty cool um sweet yeah and hey man if you guys i, I you know i don't know if you guys ever do like kind of guest spots or something but I would love to hop on one of those ruined episodes with you, of course, if you would have me, uh, but I'll still watch them and uh, enjoy them nonetheless. So not a requirement to, to be involved. Uh, I just spent the rest of my little bit of spending money on a copy of The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. I've never heard of that one, Gavin. If they're open until Friday, I would have gotten it. Yeah, well, you know, um, who knows? Maybe, you know, Vin goes around and does like conventions um, he was at H45 with a booth, and he's been out here in Arizona as well. So, you know, some of those things, if you're able to, you know, if he comes through um, on a convention that's in your, in your, you know, your neck of the woods, uh, pun intended, I've seen him with like the Never Hike Alone vinyl, and he might even have some copies of the Blu ray. So, who knows? That's what I figured, Ronnie. I figured it was in good fun. Sometimes. I think it's just that you've got a, a dry wit to you. And I, that's what I figured. I was like, oh, he's got to be giving me shit because you and Blake are very much like that with each other. Um, it's sort of like this, oh, I'm so disappointed in you. But it's like you guys are just giving each other shit. Um, good natured ribbing, as uh, they call it on Mystery Science Theater 3000. All right, guys. Well, I guess we might as well just hop in to the stream or to, uh, to watching the movie together because I know there are other folks streaming right now. Um, and so, you know, I want everyone to be able to kind of do their thing and, and hop around if they want to. Anytime I'm in a bad mood, I put a Blake and Ronnie video on and automatically get a mood boost. That's so cool, Allie. That is, that's gotta be awesome to hear. I think that's, you know, that's one of the things that every content creator wants to be on YouTube. Well, Maybe not the people that like rip apart everything, <laughs> but the the people that uh, are out there just, you know, it, like I say all the time, it's like hanging out with friends, right? Um, Strange Vice is an excellent giallo movie. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got to get me hip. What year is it from? Is it from that classic giallo era? Because I do like, there are a few of those giallo movies I've seen that I really love. And I think Friday the 13th has a lot of giallo influence. Um I, I sort of mentioned that in my ranking video from yesterday where I, I just said European influence, but I, I mean like Bay of Blood, um, like the, the way that uh, a Bay of Blood looks uh, or Twitch of the Death Nerve, whatever you call it. Um, I see a lot of that in Friday the 13th, especially in the, the first couple. 
What's happening, Paul? Evil monsterism is in the house. And Allie says, let's go. So let me get my headphones on and uh, we'll hop on over to the movie. All right, guys. Here we go. Just makes me smile. All right, Gavin, 1971. I can't believe I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to check it out. Is it on Shutter or something? Man, they picked such, this actor, I know we haven't seen him yet, this kid, um, gosh, what's his name? Because he does, he does cosplay and like um, convention kind of stuff, doesn't he? Really good likeness for Feldman. Uh, pretty damn good. I love how the doc is just like, it's almost a total loss at this point. <laughs> it's like right there. That's a beautiful shot there. Sounds good, Gavin. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, Paul, the sound design. See, that's what, like, the production value. What did I tell you about coming out here alone? Yeah, the production value is so fishing. good. Okay, but it's not safe for you to be out here by yourself. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh... You know, let me know next time, okay? Okay, I promise. Okay, good. Is it because of Jason? Just what Tom can do name? with just his face, the subtle cool. movements. They said he drowned in the lake. I love Tom yeah, Matthews so as Tommy Jarvis. It's, I mean, amazing. Waiting for what? To pull me down with him. Uh. Man, and the sound design in my headphones is nuts. No! That shot is incredible. Yeah, it's not just like the technical know-how, which they clearly have, but the creativity to think of all of these, um, you know, camera movements and edits. He's my Tommy too, Allie. There, there's something... There's something so sweet and sincere and naturally believable about Tom Matthews as Tommy. Um, like he really, in, in part six and in these films, especially in this film because he's featured so much more, just a, a sincerity to, you know, feeling like he's responsible. Love those horns.
<laughs> I feel like I saw, I've seen that scene just, you know, like a handful of times because they put it out as like a little teaser and then um, I saw it at Mad Monster. They sort of, they showed that whole opening scene. Um, I think it was right before Dylan's New Nightmare premiered or had like the, you know, the screening. Um, I think there was a little tweaking on Dylan's New Nightmare, so it wasn't the official premiere. I love how this opening scene is sort of reminiscent and kind of a callback to Jason Lives. Um, you know, just with Tommy making the drive, um, he's got the, you know, the mask and everything in the back of the car. Or at least he did in Jason Lives. I could be wrong in this one. Drone shots are great. Yeah, Nora Hewitt and Cody Wilkins. Damn. The the special the makeup here is so good. Yeah, this is great. Bill Hunt. I, I follow Bill Hunt on socials. His art is awesome. Oh yeah, Allie, that Jeep is fire. I drive it. You think, is this something that like Tommy does every weekend just in case? Filthy. <laughs> I'm a fan of Mike too. There it is. The doc that is just about to give up on life. You shoot in the water? If you do that in Resident Evil 4, the monster comes out. The lake monster and eats you. That's alright, Gene. I hope you have a great night and an awesome Easter as well. Take care. Appreciate you. You rock too, Gene. I love this. What did I tell you about coming up here, Jarvis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just leaving. <laughs> I love how fed up he is. Like, like it's the day after Jason lives. It says to stay the fuck out. <laughs> love it. I know what you're doing up here. I know what you're doing. Living in the past, stirring up ghosts. There's nothing up here for you, Jarvis. It's time to move on. Gotta love the blue glasses, huh? I've, I've never seen those frames on anyone. You're still out here, Sheriff, and you know it. Then tell me something, wise guy. How come every time I come up here, the only thing I find is you? So Tommy does you go up there I'm every up weekend. Something, Sheriff? Then why don't you go check out the camp for yourself? Unless you know, you're too much of a chicken chick. <laughs> I love it. I love the rapport. Asshole. Yeah, you're right, Allie. The way that, uh, you know, that Vin plays him. And, you know, I'd be interested to know, like, which shots are Vin and which shots are Brian. I don't know if it's just more of, like, the stunt-heavy kind of work. Um, 
But who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if Vin was doing some of those stunts as well. At least, like, you know, the head bashings and all that. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. The... Just... That's the one thing I notice about acting the more, like, the older I get. Is just that you can say a lot without saying anything. Wilderness finds are really... And that not just anyone can play Michael or Jason. Like, you have to know how to... How to use oh, the, you know, bring the yeah, physicality. Those guys look pissed. I think... I think I'm just gonna stick closer to Lake. So I'll check in with you guys soon. I'll... I remember the first time I watched this, like, the little digital right, oh. messes. Like, I thought they were part of the actual <laughs> bot file. Well, I will check in with you guys soon. Uh-oh. Cow out. I'm getting too old for this shit. There was one shot where Jason was like, seriously? Dr. Hill? What? We're doing this? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Hi, Tommy. Um, what are you doing here? I work here. No, I know. I... I... Uh, yeah, but I mean, um, you thought you were taking time off. Yeah, there you go. I was. Um, it's my first day back. Oh, well, then welcome back. Thank you. Tom Matthews still has that sweetness. You know, there is a boyish charm to I him. Speaking of, I, sh I should probably get inside. <laughs> see you around, Tommy. Yeah, I'll see you. Take care. Yeah. I'm going to get into the Cadbury eggs. Hope hey, you Tommy Salami. Axel. Danny, what's with the books? Cramming for a nursing exam Monday. Huh. Would you mind if we post up inside today? Axel's gonna help me study. Yeah, no problem. Just keep your walkies on in case we get a call. Of course. You got it. Okay. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah. Good luck with the studying. Uh, I'm gonna need it. Relax. You're gonna do just fine, doll. Please don't call me that. Sorry, I'm working on it. I don't think you are. <laughs> nice little callback with the Axel. Axel, you are the Super Bowl of self abuse. It's one of my favorite lines from the final chapter. I love that shit. The Super Bowl of self abuse. Hey, no worries, Gary. Happy you could join us, man. How you doing? Gary, have you seen Never Hike Alone 2 before? Have you have you seen all oh, of man. them? Are y'all caught up? Let me know in the chat. Hey Chief, I'm about to head out for the night. You Yeah, I do think no, Anna Campbell's good. really good here, Allie. Thanks for checking in. She she really shows night, the emotion. And Doug Tate, speaking of good, this guy... Working on something? Good night, deputy. I, you know... Good night, Sheriff. I know he's mostly, you know, does stunt work, but it really does impress me. Maybe not impress is the right word, but it's really great to see that he's got chops that go beyond just being able to do stunt work. Um, you know, just with that little bit of dialogue he has there and what he shows with his, you know, the facial acting and the body movement, like... You, you know, you really believe that the character is, uh, you know, fully realized. Yeah, it's, it's me again, Matt. Hey guys, if you haven't subbed to Fatchy's you know Cinema, go check him out, give him a shot, um, and see, uh, see what you think. He's got some great, great stuff on the channel there. Just wrap your arms around me and use my body to keep you <laughs> Best you Myers fan going? film. <laughs> Yeah, what is the best Halloween fan film? I've seen a few, and a couple of them are okay, but I, like, if you guys recommend any sort of Better. Halloween fan films, let me know. Shoot me a DM or something. Mm. It's not a true Friday the 13th film without people getting naughty in a tent, right? Hell yeah, Gary. I, I figured as much that you did. Excuse me. Because I know you're a big Jason fan. Those blue glasses are probably some sort of code in that universe that indicates he's opening to... Yeah, I don't, like... 
I'm like, is that just what uh, Vinny Guastafaro, is that just what he naturally wears? Is he, he's just wearing his regular frames? Uh, or is it is blue it? because of the lake? Is it's it a, like a symbolism ew. for the water? Okay? Um, I don't know. Uh, I've heard about uh, Halloween oh, Aftermath. Might be I've, and I've heard about James. Maybe I need to follow him on socials. Uh, is he a here. cool guy? I, I, I don't know anything Check about him. Um, and there's got to be a teaser out there for Aftermath, right? Let me know. See, I think these two here, I believe these folks are artists that worked on the film as well. I think I saw them at H45 uh, at a booth. They're, talk about like really natural and it just feels like, uh, you know, it just feels so real. Especially the blending of, you know, bringing Drew in with other characters since in the first Never Hike Alone, it was mostly a solo experience, you know? Where are you going? Yeah, you're right, Allie. He, he does a great job, especially for like taking a pretty big break, right? I love shit like that. That's what gets me going in these slasher movies is like Everything movement okay? in the background. I love it. Love seeing stuff yeah. that the anti or yeah, protagonists yeah. haven't seen. Yeah, everything's fine. Paul, which uh, Halloween fan you know, films are you talking about specifically? Do you know what was that? Here comes a shot that my brother Matt worked you know? on. He worked on a few shots here. So he did, uh, he does 3D matte painting. So he added right some now, gore to this shot of the back of the guy's head. <laughs> it's great acting there. <laughs> so yeah, that shot right there. So great, it's seamless. You can't even tell. I think he just like put more blood in there and made it look wet. Uh, it's a great edit. Again? Fucking awesome. Yeah, babe, do you have that time? It's thing? all in the what, edit, what did man. I tell you about the jelly? Yeah, you'd think I'd learn my lesson by now. Yeah, you think. Um, oh, Gary, oh, Jason Rising can I, can is I pretty you? fun. I, is you know, I maybe only seen it twice. Yeah. But um, um, we were supposedly going to get a new one on I went to Monday. high school with one of the ladies fresh, in that movie. Though, Justin She's one of the victims in it. Oh, thanks, Justin. Oh, so no that was kind of cool to see her um, not only in know? a fan I, film I, I of a franchise that, that I'm passionate about, but then seeing all, Vin's name on there, I was like, oh my god, these guys scored getting him involved. I appreciate it. Coffee's fine for now. For a patient with Crohn's disease, the surgical medical nurse recommends a diet that is... Um, low in fiber, high. Sixteen minute clip, Matt. That's okay, right. off to check See it out. Know. Maybe uh, I, I can cover that on the channel. Oh, oh no! Everyone's oh hallucinating. Are you okay? <laughs> Tell me if my eating of popcorn is just too damn distracting, guys. You got red on you. Um, Paul, wait. Okay, yeah. Halloween night, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've seen that one, Paul. I, I can't remember the names because they just... They're, they're, the names are so generic sometimes that I kind of wish there was something um, that was a bit more memorable. Like, I think they Never Hike care. Alone is memorable as a Friday the 13th fan film. Uh, Blu-ray. No, not really. I'm kind of mixed on the Crystal Lake series. I don't, I don't like morning. television as much as I like film. So it's a shame what happened to your son. Um, I don't know. You seem like a really good kid. I feel like I'm TV kind of just drags on and doesn't yeah, give you much meat. Me. It just sort of little tidbits and a whole bunch of filler. Really but it depends on where they go with it, you know. What's that? My son is still alive. There you go, Allie. Jason Rising is great, too. Yeah, I had a fun Crazy time. I like how they brought together. Alice back. Um, bringing back uh, Adri Adrian King was uh, a pretty... I mean, that's that's a big but deal, he getting her to come back. Missing. With her yellow raincoat and everything. He's still out there somewhere, and until they find him, the state won't recognize he's dead for another seven years. I I don't know what to do with that. Did they change the actors, Gary? I didn't. I, I guess I didn't notice. I'm sorry. 
Uh, probably just availability, right? Oh, I think I that's like usually the case, no, you know? It's, it's okay. Just, if you're not available, you're not available. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm surprised you came back at all. I've thought about leaving. I think about it all the time. But I just can't bring myself to do it. Really great emotion here. I feel like I'd be leaving it behind. Yeah. I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. I love the interaction between these two yeah, characters. Hill, look, if there's anything, anything you need, anything at all, just, just let me know. So they keep telling me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably hear that a lot when you're grieving. The 78 slasher. Yeah, maybe I just need to go on a run and watch a whole bunch of those Halloween fan films. Deputy Playboy. I guess, Allie, I need to watch Jason Rising again. Maybe I'll put that one on tonight. Of course, you know, I'm not going to stream my whole day today, but maybe once I shut this off, I'll put that on and, uh, you know, get into it again. Because, yeah, I, I remember enjoying it, but... Um, it's, it's not, like, stuck in my memory too much. <laughs> Gary. Hating on 09. Yeah, 09 is definitely a different kind of film, that's for sure. But the Jason in 09 is awesome. Like the look, the intensity, the brutality. I'm not exactly sure. They got Jason I'm right. Over laying on the road like this. Uh, hey, uh, did you happen to see anyone else out here? No, why? I don't know. Seem odd to have someone out here all alone like this by hmm? themselves. <laughs> it's more than you think. Guy watches one episode of Survivor, man. Next thing you know, he's out here. The porn cast. Wolf. Only this time, he's a big bag of shit and leave it up to us to save his ass. Yeah. See. Well, I, Friday the 13th, 09. Oh, Thanks. Definitely oh, has a, good night. You too. a bunch of sexy people um, constantly doused in a little bit of sweat, so they're nice and glistening all over. Oh, I love it. Love that kill. Oh. Callback to the Kevin Bacon kill from the very first film. That's awesome. Go check it out, Tommy. What are you doing? And this is really cool the way this, you know, matches up with the very first Never Hike Alone. It's awesome. It's all good, Tom. Perfect nipple placement. What does he say? He's like, your tits are stupendous or something like that. <laughs> yeah. A lot of throwaway characters, but the series is kind of known for that in a way. I mean, shit. Watch part seven. And like, are any of those people really likable in part seven? Um, I mean, like, Tina's okay. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, really. I think a lot of the movie. I think part four's got some of the more likable characters for sure. I think there might be someone else in the forest. Part six, of course. What makes you say that? Something the patient said. He made it sound like there was someone else out there with him. The ranger said she didn't see anyone. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should call it in just in case? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, no problem. Did you say yes, sir? Or yeah, sure. Dispatch, this is Rescue 26, over. I love this. This whole sequence here Dispatch, is just... Beautiful. Chef's kiss. I like your legs. When do they open? He's really uh, honing like his Christian Slater, Jack Nicholson, that guy in Resurrection. Michael is you. He's me. He's the bump you hear in the <laughs> I think there's something wrong with Tommy. You go check on him? Yeah, yeah it sounds like he's fighting an ogre of a man. 
Yeah, Gary, we'll get there. Hang around, bud. It's a classic, classic scene. Oh, <laughs> right in the chest. That's kind of a callback to uh, part four, right? I can't remember the character's name, but she's wearing the towel and she gets the axe in the chest like through the door. Yeah, she's toast. And is he just, he's just, yeah, choking her out and breaks her neck. Damn. I think my brother did some of the blood on her face there. No, 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 no. God, can you imagine that being strapped to a gurney and Jason staring at you? Hey, Megan Head! <laughs> Remember me, asshole? Hang on, kid! Oh, yeah, Sarah. Or Gary, as uh, the guy calls her, Sarah! Hey, Sarah! Don't stop! No! No way. Rescue 26, are you still there? Drive. Hello? Dispatch, listen to me. We were just attacked. My team is dead. Call the sheriff and tell him to get out of Cunningham Road now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, damn it. Get Rick out here now and tell him Jason is back. What the hell have you done, kid? That is so cool. Just the editing, just, you know. A new era of fan films, and it's just, it's just amazing how uh, how well put together all of this is. That is a fucking awesome shot of Jason. <laughs> He's got the tensile strength of a bear. Urgh. Pretty boy Doug had his face crushed in the shower by Jason. That is pretty awesome. Great Savini kill. The really like awkward close-up of Jason as he's pushing in. I uh, really like that as well. Yeah, very pretty boy Doug. Who might be, He might wear the shortest shorts in the franchise. Um, maybe even shorter than, what is it, Terry in part two? Yeah, Ali, don't stop. I know it's that was the first time I watched it. I'm like, what is he doing? Just call it in while you're driving. Oh, oh, call on to your stretcher. Not me. The kid. What kid? I need some help here. Help us. That's a great shot too. The over the head. Tommy, you can't go in no, there. No, I need to talk to him. No, you need medical attention. Jason's been lifting what, boats and what, injecting Trenbolone, and now he's back. What yeah. Happens? There was an accident. Make sure he lives. Yeah, it could be right on the shorts. One, two, three, go. 18 gauge, right arm, please. All right, sir, breathe nice and deep for us. You're going to be okay. As long as Jason doesn't find us, you're going to be okay. Yeah, go ahead and take that No, that's, that's what my vision looks like after I hit my weed pen too hard. I love how they bring that in that it's like, you know, because Tommy's always having those hallucinations of Jason in like... Uh, part five and uh, yeah, part five especially. Even at the beginning with Corey Feldman, you know, with that cameo, and then they bring that back in with uh, is it Kyle? Is that his name? Kyle. That he's he the Jason has the same effect on him. Like he makes you, you know, see him everywhere. Hey, 
Hey! What, am I the only one that comes in on time anymore? <laughs> this guy. Hey, what are you I'm doing dead, but here? I'm here. Oh, sorry, Chief. Just want to get this hung before you got in. Alan? That Chief? What's happening, Field of Screams? Hey. Welcome to the chat. Alan, what's wrong, Chief? <laughs> hey, Rick! Get back! <laughs> oh, jeez. And he really thinks Tommy is evil. Even after everything that went down in part six, he still thinks that Tommy's full of shit. Hey, there they are. There's uh, Pretty Boy Doug and Sarah. Right, Gary? You see this? You see him? Sarah! Dar, what are you doing here? I need to talk to the sheriff. There's been a murder. What? Who called it in? Uh, one of the paramedics, Tommy hmm. Jarvis? Yeah, him. What did he say? Yeah, you're right, Ali. I mean, that's you know, and that's what I'm saying is it's not just the technical aspect of being able to actually do it, but the you know thinking of it, the just the creativeness um, or the creativity oh, of everything. Yeah, Vin is uh, incredibly intelligent and very creative and um, extremely capable uh, on, in a technical way. A really impressive, inspiring guy for sure. I got it. Yeah, that's true, Gary. Sorry, Sheriff, Rick never liked you know, Tommy, but you'd so figure after six that maybe he gets okay, like kid. a little bit of credence we'll for, you know, being worried about Jason, right? I mean, it was pretty hardcore what happened in part six. 20, like, pretty much everyone here. dies out at that camp, all, at least all the adults, you know. Paul, are you a big H2O fan? I'm like, I liked it when it came out and it just like kind of falls down my ranking every time I watch the Halloween movies. Um, I do like the opening scene. I wish they kept the curse mask throughout the whole movie or just pick one mask and stick with it because the mask issues in H2O really bring that movie down for me. And I love the first act getting to know the characters, but I feel like the second two acts are just kind of boring. Um, you know, Jamie Lee, I, I like her. I like the arc, um, you know, struggling with the alcoholism and all that and the pills. But, yeah, I just think H2O, like, in the end, it doesn't really, like, the follow-through isn't there with H2O. It's, it's a good build-up and kind of ends in a whimper. Hello? Hey, what's happening, Tyler? Welcome to the chat. Thanks for stopping by and listening while you work. Well, I'm sure, you know, if you've seen the movie, you can kind of get an idea. And um, I'm trying to, you know, respond to the chat, but also talk about the film as well. So hopefully I can paint a little bit of a picture as we go along here. Oh, damn. Oh, Christ. Oh. He's just loading up all the bodies in the car. Deputy Bedard, come in. Do you read? Go ahead, Sheriff. Oh, let's see Put here. Gary says, if Jarvis. Vincent hired me to be a screenwriter for Never Hike Alone 3, I would Multiple definitely have homicides. some ideas. I love creativity. Yeah, you know, and I think that... I think one of the great things about Vin, though, is that he just sort of... You know, he's got such a good idea of where he wants to take everything. Sure don't I don't think there's going to be a Never Hike Alone 3. I think if Vin um, does another Friday so the 13th film uh, or another Jason exactly? film that's like that he's uh, at the helm, Look, um, just, I think it would have to be like a studio <laughs> production. A minute, and at that point, you know, yeah, sorry. they'd probably take his his advisement. He would probably work on the script and they'd probably insist on bringing somebody in to work on the script Tell with me. him. Although Did I don't think it? that's entirely necessary. It's going to be okay. Good. Studios okay. are going to studio. I lost a lot of blood. Three cracked ribs. Concussion. Yeah. Paul, you're right. But it's near the bottom of the my list, too. Are the multiple large stab wounds? And you don't look so hot either. What the hell happened out there? Love how she's giving him... She's giving him the mom attitude here. Multiple where large stab wounds. Mister, where were you? They're dead. What? How? We were attacked. By what? 
Jason Voorhees. I don't think I have to worry about that what? field of screams because um, Womp Stomp is He's able to clear. share the film on YouTube. So told. Their disclaimer was the shown on is, this is, stream. Is, and um, I know uh, because he killed my mother. I'd imagine Vin is cool with me others. doing this. And I don't no, even know if, if he would be able to... Like, I don't know because um, the ownership of the rights is, you know, don't belong to him either, even though I he created Jason this film. So as far as I know, everything's cool. <laughs> And hopefully Vin would have reached out to me with a DM if he didn't want me to do this, but uh, he was liking and sharing everything, so I know he's on board uh, with us doing this here on the stream. I, I fucked it all up. He used me to come back. And this town has been paying the price ever since. I love this aspect of this Tommy's character. The guilt. I, know, I, know I love it. To me, it's just so Look, human. I was at the crime scene the night. Oh, hey, what's up, Gavin? Him. Welcome back. I know it was Jason Voorhees. Yeah, I'm getting the sheriff. Now you do that, and I promise you, you'll never get the answers you're looking for about Mark. Oh yeah? What do you know? This town has a past that no one wants to talk about. Another missing person is a lot easier to sweep under the rug than a bunch of unexplained murders. Are you saying that my son was murdered? You're absolutely you right, knew Gary. You all this time? Why Tom Matthews is now? the best. Without proof, you would have never believed me. Whatever happened to that hiker could be the key. That's why I need to talk to him. But his condition, mm -hmm. I don't know when that will be. This can't wait. Fuck it, wake him up. Maybe you don't need to talk to him. Hey, oh. Maybe we just go through his private belongings and rifle through his business. I love this little bit of so meta. Me that thing's a camera. Kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, he must have been filming something out there. About the YouTube business. There. That's everything. Show me. Check. Check one, two. Hey everyone, Kyle McLeod here checking in on another. Wait, I know this guy. Adventure. You do? Yeah, yeah, he's a YouTuber. A what? Um, I love it. Internet thing. A what? Mark used to watch his channel when we first moved here for hiking tips. So what, he films himself walking around the forest? Pretty much. Oh. People actually watch that? <laughs> I love it. it. Again, it's like... Vin kind of dips into little things from all the movies and bringing in a, just a little bit of that meta kind of humor from Jason Lives. Um, and it's so fitting, right? Because we've got Tom Matthews here. Um, I just think the everything's so well measured in this film. Um, you know, the nods to the other films Whoa. aren't too over the top okay. or on the nose. <laughs> yeah, Allie. Oh, what? <laughs> People actually watch that? You got the same shirt? Fight the good fight? Yeah, long time no see. Yeah, it's been, what, seven hours or whatever? Yes, uh, I love, uh, you know, I grew up on the NES and uh, Sega Genesis. Although, I mean, I love all video games. I mean, I don't really have an allegiance, you know. Hey, go, go back. Uh, Super Nintendo's great. Right there. Uh, GameCube is my most, I would say, the most underrated. Like, the GameCube is badass. I think that's the best Nintendo system. Although... Most of my favorite Nintendo games are on Super Nintendo. My brother Matt worked on this shot, I believe, adding the lightning and some of the storm elements there. And uh, Gary says uh, that uh, Tommy Jarvis is his favorite final guy. Jesse Walsh from Elm Street 2 is your second favorite. Yeah, you love his uh, high-pitched scream. Yeah, I think uh, Nightmare 2 is really damn good. Really good. For me, it's kind of like the first two and New Nightmare. What's happening, Wade Effin Wilson? Appreciate you jumping in, man. I'm, I missed your uh, chat during the premiere of the franchise ranking yesterday. I apologize. Fight the good fight, SNES. Not a bad system to have as your favorite. Yeah, Gavin, GameCube ruled. I mean, Resident Evil 4. Say no more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Here, let me help you. Fuck. 
And see, that whole hallucination scene is kind of like the end of part five, right? That, like, you're in the hospital and you're seeing Jason through the window. Or I guess Tommy in that one just sees him standing in front of the bed. Is that what it is? Or does he break in? A nice little nod, you know? My name is Tommy. And I need your help. Gary's a PlayStation guy. Well, I can tell you're young, you right? You must have... Here, just have a look at this. Were you born in the early 90s? Late, late 80s? Saying. Early 90s, Gary? Gary, I do like Dream Warriors. You However, you, you know, A Nightmare on Elm the Street... The question is, where did you find it? I don't... It's not like I dislike it, but it's a the, relatively the lukewarm, yeah, casual fan of the series. In an attic? Now, the first two the films film? I love... I do like Dream Warriors, okay. Um... <laughs> I think I like New Nightmare more. Such a blur. Um, okay. I don't know what it is. Did you have to show me? I think maybe like Freddy's just a little too cartoony joking, for me right? in some of those later no. films. Dude, look at me. I'm not going even, even starting as soon as part three. No, uh, but it's can't. a very fun film. Look, Absolutely, you went into very eighties, quintessential. Him out, and now he's coming for you. He didn't mean to. And now people are dead. And there'll be more if we don't do something about it. What? I could show you where that head thing is and oh you're only like, five years younger than me gary so yeah we're we're basically Look, the same I think age you already know some of the story i remember playstation Jason coming out was huge and somehow came back the night his mother was killed her head is the only thing he has left of right him. on gavin if we destroy it it'll sever the connection that keeps him coming back to this world and we can finally send him to hell where he belongs all right ali says I dream warriors is her favorite I've done my research. nightmare on elm street is wrong? Dream Warriors kind of like the? Is it the fan favorite? Is do most people put it above the first one? Like, is it kind of like Hill. Final Chapter or Jason Lives, where it's like you, you know me? usually you in that number one spot? I'm Karen, interested to know because I'm not really to see if she could get you know about super deep into that night. world. What did they say? Axel and Denny are dead. Helping with the night ships oh in the UK. God. Hell yeah, Wade. And that's I'm awesome, cool man. Ones. From across the pond, well, I think that's one of the coolest things about. Meeting people on YouTube and being part of the community is uh, there are people Seriously. all over the world that you can yeah, connect with in some way. So that's oh, awesome, man. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, what do you do for work? Ago, I mean, I if, you don't have to tell me. I'm just curious. <laughs> Maybe. And Gavin, you're just a baby. But I need Gavin. to make sure. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Where do you think you're going? I need to check this room. Oh, I have a patient recovering from surgery in there. You're not going to like what you see. There's broken glass everywhere. Or is there? Uh, okay. All right, the root beer is down. Looks good to me. Let me know if you see anything, though, okay? I will. Thanks. Yeah, Gavin, I hear you. Part two, especially, I think Freddy's scary. And I do think... Kate and I rewatched the original Nightmare a couple months ago, and um, I think Wes is just still kind of cutting his teeth there. Um, seems kind of clumsy. There, like the way the camera's used in the editing, Tommy. it just seems a little clumsy to me. Um, like especially if you compare it to something like the original Halloween, where Dean Cundey's camera movement and cinematography is so deliberate, and the film looks so good. Um, even though I love the original whoa, whoa, Nightmare on Elm Street as far as like the story and everything goes, well, I think the execution is the a little rough. Get back in bed. Diana, we're running out of time. Look, if you want justice for your son, then you're going to have to trust me. Davey, if you way. like Train to Busan, there's another foreign film called Incantation. Feel the screams. Please shoot me a DM. I'm better at remembering these things if you shoot me a DM. <laughs> I appreciate that. I love zombie films. So yes, please share. All right, guys, we are about to get to this red scene, um, which I think is one of the most iconic Jason like moments or scenes in the entire uh, legacy of the character. I'm placing you under arrest for multiple homicides. Now put your hands in the air. That's awesome that you met Heather, Gary. Yeah, she seems really sweet. What makes you think Nancy's awesome? Because he was the last one to see the victims alive. Wade probably works for the British mafia. Do the Brits have a mafia? That was part of an ongoing investigation, and I couldn't share the details. You had evidence that my son was murdered, and you couldn't share the details? Uh, hey, Chief. Kind of busy here. What is it? I got some asshole out here vandalizing cars. So what? Stop it. 
and stay off this line. Sir, um, he's telling the truth. Jason is real. Andrew Lady is so <laughs> fucking good. Are, like, but why is he true. not in major movies? This guy Jason is super talented. Exist. What the? Bolton, what's going on out there? Oh, yeah. I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, we get this really cool, like, first person kind of thing for a few shots. You're right, Tyler. Freddy's personality does make him stand out. That's absolutely true. Same with, like, you know, a killer like Chucky. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Sheriff Rick is like, oh, I was wrong. So damn cool. Again, the editing. Jesus. Run! You should have been running already! Just retail, Davey, and you know. Oh, restock, replenishing stock, all right. How do you like that? How do you like that work, Wade? I guess you get to listen to YouTube, so it's not so bad. This kill right here. Brutal. Oh. That shot right there. Uh, my oldest brother, Matt, got to work on that shot. That's... I, I'm so pumped for him that he got to work on, like, what I think is one of the best single shots of Jason. And <laughs> Rick's just like watching it all unfold. Come on, you fucking idiot! Yeah, Gavin, I think, you know, Vinny Guastafaro um, as Rick, uh, you can... Certain oh, deliveries, I think you can kind of tell that, you know, he's, he's taking a little break from acting. But I do think real. he hits more than I he misses, you, for sure. After all these uh, years, but I hear you, you know. I, I'm sorry. I'm it's so, tough because I don't so think sorry. I... Acting has got to be really difficult. Um, yeah, certainly yeah, that I, doesn't mean I, that you can't I, notice when, you know, it doesn't work for you. Yeah, Gary, it's like a video game. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, what my brother's cooking up on the side. And uh, we're actually working on a little project together as well. Still in the we need to get out of here. infant stages no, right now, but we're working on something near and dear to me. Yeah. How do you expect to replace a battery with that psycho walking? Hell yeah, Paul. This is your first time? Yeah, this the production value. I mean, I'm this is super legit. Like when I do... You guys grab it that looks battery and run like, like a theater released no. film. You don't know what you're dealing with. I think it's the other way around. Oh, Jesus. He's gonna get us all killed. Hey, Jason! Guys, we got 10 people here. That's uh, that's pretty good for a Davy Death Ray stream. <laughs> Still relatively new here. Suck lead, fuckhead! I totally get what you're saying, Gavin. I, I don't think you're being harsh or anything like that. Holy shit. That's awesome, Wade. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's... Sometimes with work, you just want it to be... You know, low impact on your life so you can go enjoy your life, right? I feel sort of the same way. Dude. Just the framing and the intensity from the from Jason. Uh, that's what makes me wonder if it's Vin or if it's... Um, 
That's Oh shit. Man. And you can buy that on the campaign site. <laughs> you can buy that busted Sheriff Rickhead. <laughs> Again, great editing, great creativity. Not a lot of fan films are this ambitious, right? I think that's something big that needs to be rewarded in art, especially art that's like kind of DIY or at least not, you know, backed by uh, a corporation is um, there's so much ambition in these Never Hike Alone films. And not only that, they're able to really pay it off um, on the technical side. I do love the nonchalant way that Jason is just like, yep, this is how I travel. Like, this is my bus. I'm gonna hop on. Yeah, Allie. The, uh, no, the other way. Again, Andrew Lady. Um, man, I, I wanna see this guy in in some movies i think he's really damn me? good especially in the first one where he's Dr. just Hill. acting with himself pretty much i need you to go into town and get help while we search the camp that monster yeah the look is great way with you look, if this doesn't work out then i need someone i need you to tell people what happened here please trust me on this actually i'm i'm down the draft no you're gonna show me where the head is remember <laughs> i'll Shit. go if i come back and you're gone I will burn this place to the ground. Well, it's happening, best. Ashton. Welcome to the chat, man. Good luck. Oh, shit. So, Field of Screams. You watched Never Hike Alone. And then there's a shorter film, about a half hour, you know, 25 minutes, called Never Hike in the Snow. It's actually a little, a mini prequel to Never Hike Alone. Uh, but it came out after as far as production goes. And then this is the sequel to that one that you watched where um, it's just the hiker. So that's the guy that's the hiker. Um, so yeah, I guess the order of film would be Never Hike in the Snow, then Never Hike Alone, then Never Hike Alone 2. And there's um, one of the scenes here earlier in this film is sort of like a remake, uh, reshooting of one of, the shot, of one of the scenes from the original Never Hike Alone. Man, the music here, the bombastic music is just really helps sell everything. So Gavin, you're working on a script, huh? I hear you. You gotta be, you have to be really tight on that script. Let's go. It's gotta be able to paint a picture, yeah. right? I don't know where the head is, come on. I fucking hate this place. Yeah, Andrew kind of does look like Charlie Hunnam a little bit, right? Maybe not as like, um, like Charlie Hunnam's a bit of a, a bigger guy, right? Uh, but yeah, very much in the face. I can totally see that. I just think, man, his chops are just good. That's all I care about. Like, just people that can act. Like, That's right. you know, really simple. Like, you, you don't have to be right like there. pretty. I just want you to be able to act. <laughs> it was right there. We gotta find it. I love how the lighting here just sort of puts you there, makes you feel a little bit of the claustrophobia, or, you know, even if it's not claustrophobia, just feel the tightness of everything. I found it. Yeah, Gary, I could watch them, I just couldn't show them on what screen. Do do now? So we could get a timer going. A lot of, a lot of channels do that. They just show the timer that where you can match up the film. But yeah, I can't show. I love that. That is amazing. Like Jason throwing the block with the ax. He's resourceful. Wake up. Oh, 
But yeah, Gary, any fan films, I think we could do any fan film on here and I can show it on screen. So, you know, we could do like Dylan's new nightmare, stuff like that, you know? Just that sound design again, guys. Nah, what a great moment. Tyler's writing a TMNT. This is great. I love it. You guys are all talking about the things you're working on. See, that's the, you know, the thing about being a, a fan is um, even though fandom and may, you know, consume most of our time. Um, oh, a lot of us are like working on ideas or have little like, you know, stuff going on in our head, even if we haven't put it to the page yet. So, you know, watching this stuff just like breeds that creativity. And man, Tommy, at this point, I just don't even know how you move anymore with two arrows in you, especially in your gut. That's a dangerous spot to be shot with an arrow. Right above the heart and then right in your tummy. It helps that he's pretty. Of course, Allie. Allie, you are boy crazy. <laughs> I mean that in the best possible way. Jason hit the B button. <laughs> Ding. That's what's up. I love how it's like, I want the, I want to hear like the windows sound, like turning on a laptop right there. Tommy. Or like uh, Dennis from It's Always Sunny when he gets shot in the head and he's like, der, der, der. You don't understand. You have to leave before. Oh no. Yeah, Wade. Um, I love Jason in the 09 remake. Um, I love exploring, like, getting to kind of know him as a character. They don't ruin any mystery. You just get to just be with him. I really, I like that. You get to see that he's just got another level, you know? Looking for this? Like, and I don't want to see that with a character like Michael, but there's something about Jason where him sort of being a spider and Crystal Lake is his web. I love that idea in the 09 remake. It's what really elevates that movie for me, even though a lot of the characters are, you know, eh. Well, at least you know your boy crazy, Allie. <laughs> you got all those hockey players to keep track of, the guys from Supernatural. Probably a bunch of country stars. How many posters of dudes do you have on your walls? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> you have the head. Yeah, it's right here. We'll destroy it. Duh. What? Grab a rock. Andrew hit B that time. Or Kyle, sorry. Andrew's the actor. Yeah, Gavin, I haven't seen the Terrifier movies. I didn't really enjoy All Hallows' Eve. I, I don't know if I'm very interested in art as a character, if he has any character at all. I, I don't like gore for gore's sake. Even though I'm a horror guy, it doesn't do much for me. Like, I can watch Dead Alive all day uh, and stuff like that, like the disturbing early Peter Jackson stuff, but Terrifier just seems like it's just there to be, like, gross and kind of perverted. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to have some value beyond just, like, you know, shocking me with gore for me. And that's just a personal taste thing. Um, 
Cecil from the Horror Show channel let me borrow the Terrifier movies, so I should watch them and give them a shot, but I had a tough time getting through um, All Hallows' Eve. I love how that's a callback to the original. So great. Jason can finally be at peace. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Jason really did like drown by accident? Or do you think that Pamela pushed him in um, or at least watched him drown and didn't do anything about it? Yeah, because yeah. in her memory, she it? sees Jason saying, mom, mommy, help me. I'm curious. I always figured that she sort of let him die or had some Tommy, role in it. And it was like her psychotic break that made her blame oh, the teens. On, Tommy, stay with um, me, stay with when me. in fact it really was her fault, but she just couldn't deal with the guilt of being responsible. That's my headcanon for Pamela. So in the Crystal Lake TV show, I'd kind of like to see that explored, um, where maybe Pamela is a lot more responsible than we originally thought. And boom, there we've got, um, gosh, I'm forgetting the actress's name from part three, and then we've got Shelly from part three as well. I've been unfairly asked to say goodbye to so many who have meant so much to this town, including our beloved sheriff, Rick Cologne. To the victims and their families, I offer my sincere condolences. Yeah, maybe I should give Terrifier 2 a shot, Gavin. I've heard a lot of people say it's so much better than the first. Allie, same, okay, so Tracy Savage, thank you, Allie. Yeah, and she's a real news broadcaster, right? Or at least at one point she was. I don't know if she's retired, but I think she ended up going into that line of work when she, once she, uh, you know, left acting. When we get the doc gets a little closure here. So he's a character from Never Hike in the Snow. There he is, Mr. Dreamy, 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 Andrew Lady. And Tommy hanging out on the dock that wants to give up on life. <laughs> I don't know why that dock really does it for me. Just leave me alone about it, guys. Yeah, there's a really nice, um, again, the tone that Womp Stomp gets here. I want to talk to you about Somber. Okay, what's up? But of some closure, you know, the music is spot for, right? on. I mean, figured if anyone needs it, it'd be you. And then the just the moment here between the two Thanks. final guys. That's behind me now. <laughs> Whatever you do with that thing is your call. What if it were like it's Superman yours. where he throws it and it just like flies into space? So like what's the next football? for you now? More adventures in the forest? <laughs> uh, I think I've taken my last hike for a while. <laughs> Great That'll shot. Be good idea. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for saving my life, Mega Man. No kid. Thank you. <laughs> it's a gr the, yeah, the sun going through the trees. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Just a great natural moment here. Well, I got a long drive ahead of Good me. Good old bro I'm hug, you know? So. Makes you feel good. I should get going. Yeah. Don't want to keep her waiting. I'll see you on the trails, Travis. Yeah. Pal out. <laughs> Take care, kid. Nice little, little bit of a lens kind of flare there. Yeah. Lot to be proud of here. Everybody that was involved in this production, man. There's, I don't think there's a weak moment or a weak shot. Uh, yeah. To me, this is easily the greatest fan film of all time. And like more importantly, it nails the tone of not just like one movie in the franchise, but a whole bunch of different franchise get, you know, touched upon, or a whole bunch of films in the franchise get touched upon here. And I love that the camera landed right there, of course. And I'm 
going to turn the volume down just a little bit for the credits. I love this song in the credits. Well, I'm deep in the I love that percussion. Like to me, when you're picking songs for a soundtrack, they really have to just like seem natural. And to me, this closing song just fits the fits the film. It fits the credits. I really dig it. And and this isn't necessarily like the kind of genre of music that like I would be like I would find myself listening to independently. Um, but sometimes when you hear something at like the end of a movie, you're just like, oh, this is. Like, this is a great track here. And I think this is the same artist that did Disappear. Is that right, Allie? I'm sure you could tell me because you are the expert here. This should be your stream, Allie. You should be doing this one because you are Miss Expert here. Yeah, what is the fishing like in Crystal Lake? Paul is wondering. Yeah, Gary, um, if you want to do an interview or something on Instagram Live, let's set something up and um, maybe even like just hop on a call beforehand so we can just kind of chit chat and get to know each other, um, you know, before actually going live. It would be great. He looks like Jax. For, is that is Jax from Sons of Anarchy? Is that Charlie Hunnam? I, I think so, but I don't I don't watch that show. I'm bad at watching TV shows. Because they bore me and they, they string you along. I mean, not every single show. But in general, it's dangerous to speak in generalities. Yeah, how cool is this? It's kind of got a little bit of a... It's like Zeppelin meets hanging out in a cabin at Crystal Lake. Like this music. Um, very old school. I like it. Kind of like that group vocal feel. And I love like the... that. I know I mentioned the percussion, but just like the stomping and uh, tambourine aspect of that. And here we go, a little. Shit. I think Dave McRae does one of the does a voiceover What's here. What's up, everybody? My name's Ryan, but uh, you probably know me better under the handle Hikerman Five Thousand. Yeah, I think that's Dave. Anyway, I am, or I guess was, a huge fan of Kyle McLeod's Trailer Junkie channel. Like. That dude was the best. But it's been a few months since anything's been uploaded to the Trail Junkies YouTube channel. Oh, this is, I love I it. I to Kyle. Great little meta. I haven't heard anything back. Moment. All the Trail Junkies social media has gone dark. Dark. And it looks like we won't be hitting them back anytime soon. Do that last line one time. And it looks like we won't be getting them back anytime soon. <laughs> So after some reflection on that a Kay. little bit, I decided to create my own fan version of the Trail Junkies to pick up where Kyle left off. As you probably already yeah, know, love Kyle it. disabled the download for the Wessex County Trail package on the forum. Lucky for me, I already snagged a copy of the map before. Oh we did. shit. More Dave McRae. Not sure what happened to Kyle. Yeah, I so I guess this would be Never Hike Alone 3, but I don't think Vin's, as far as I know, he's not interested in pursuing any more um, fan films with Jason. Yeah, Paul, I agree. Yellowstone is a good show. I've yet to see Chucky, um, but I've heard really good things about it, and I do like the Child's Play series. And then I think uh, I might just like pause it at my when my brother's name pops up here, just so you guys know I'm not just making it up. Uh, where is it? Is it right there? Nope, it's not right there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, nope, not right there. <laughs> Chef, cook, and bottle washer. Great. Jax is Charlie Hunnam. All right. There we go. VFX Matt Painter, Matt Conway. Hell yeah. And then there I am, Davey Death Ray Conway. I thought that was so cool. I didn't, as far as I remember, I didn't ask Vin to put uh, Death Ray in there. I just put my name. And uh, 
when I saw that, that was a pleasant surprise. I thought that was a cool little, uh, you know, tip of the cap. Um, very sweet guy. Vin is awesome. Uh, really intimidating to meet him the first time just because of everything that he had done at that point. It was, to me, sort of like meeting a rock star. Um, but he makes you feel, um, you know, really comfortable. And, you know, at the end of the day, he's a giant fan himself. Uh, and he likes talking about this stuff and just kind of shooting the shit. So um, really great getting to know him a little bit and being able to get him hooked up with my brother to help out on this film. And I hope they get to work together in the future as well. And uh, I can't wait. The next time uh, Vin and I are in the same town, I'm sure uh, we'll bake him some uh, fresh cookies or brownies or a cake or something because I know he likes that stuff. And uh, maybe I can get him over for a little dinner, a little hangout, you know. It'd be kind of cool just to, to sort of kick it. Um, and, you know, of course pick his brain, but also just hang out. All right, so Gary wants me to do Dylan's New Nightmare. Yeah, we can line that up. Let's, uh, you know, this was just sort of, um, I guess I, I just figured we would do this because the campaign is rounding out this weekend, so it was the perfect time to jump on. I'm trying to get better about, like, planning these things out, putting together the thumbnails, and um, giving people a little more of a heads up. <coughs> Excuse me, a heads up. But nature of... The business, as it were, is, you know, I do have a full-time job and a life outside of doing this. So sometimes I just, you know, on a whim, and I just want to do something. So I appreciate you guys for jumping in here. We still have 10 people watching. What's up, Koi? Koi is in the chat. Happy send -up! Hopefully that didn't blow everyone's ears off. Uh, so grateful to the fans. Never saw any... Yeah, Ali, you're absolutely right. I think he just, you know, he's a fan himself, so he knows the way you want to be treated. And ultimately, I think a lot of creative types, I mean, at least I can speak for myself, you know, having played music for a really long time and, um, you know, toured around in some super small bands. But, you know, we would put on shows ourselves and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know... Any chance you get to talk to a fan of what you're doing or just a fan of that medium is really cool just to kind of shoot the shit and get to know people and what they love. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that, man. You rock. You guys all rock for jumping in here. This is super cool. Last minute kind of get together on a Saturday night. I know it's, you know, holiday weekend, so I know everyone's busy doing things. I'm so pumped that, uh, you know, Allie, that you were able to hang out in here um, you guys have been so great about jumping on these live streams in general and also supporting the the pre-produced videos as well. So, um, you know, appreciate every single one of you guys. I love you guys. Could not do what we're doing here without you. And uh, I'm looking forward to just doing more and more. Um, if you guys missed my live stream from earlier, I saw most of you in the live stream earlier, but I do have some collaborations in the works. Um Getting a little something going with uh, my guy Foz Rotten. Uh, and then coming up in May, um, I am doing a little video um, of Indiana Jones franchise retrospective with Chris Snyder over at Movie Misfits. So that's going to be May 12th. We're going to do that one. I think that's going to be a live stream. And then um, Barry from Wolfman's Got Nards reached out to me. Or actually, no, he kind of just put the word out there that he was looking for people to collaborate with. So I was like, oh, right here. <laughs> um, and uh, we quickly found something that we could work together on. Uh, I don't want to spoil what it is right now. Uh, but once we're once, you know, he and I have nailed the time down um, and we're ready to share that with you guys, we'll certainly make that announcement. I've been watching Barry for years to be able to, to work um, with other YouTube creators and uh, especially people that you've been a fan of for a while. Like I really have been like Barry, I don't know, seven, eight years, something like that. I mean, I don't know if his channel was brand new when I got on it, but uh, really loved what he does for a really long time. So super pumped to work with him. And not only that, yeah, Ali, it's that theme song's great. Um, not only am I going to do something with Barry, but I'm putting a little something together for August because it's the 15th anniversary of Rob Zombie's Halloween two, which I actually really enjoy. Now, certainly 
not everything in the movie works for me, right? I get why people don't like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I understand it. I think there's so much to love there, and the things that I love, I really love a lot, especially just how it stands out in the series that there's a lot of sameness going on in uh, any horror franchise, really. So I like that Halloween 2 from Rob Zombie um, sticks out. To me, it's in a good way uh, for the most part. And so I'm putting a little something together. I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse, but a couple YouTubers that I've looked up to, um, one of them especially that I've been watching for like almost 10 years, um, we all kind of have a love for it. So I reached out to them and we're arranging all that kind of stuff now so we can put together a really nice video to just celebrate that movie um, as it's coming up on its uh, 15th anniversary here in August. So um, yeah, and then sometime this summer, I'm going to be on Dave McRae's channel because I purchased that associate producer perk for It's Me, Billy, Chapter 2. So I get to go on an episode of McRae Live, and we'll talk about Evil Dead on that live stream. I know I've shared this with you guys on other live streams. It just feels like I got to do my commercials when I can. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out Never Hike Alone 2 with me. Uh, please hit the like button if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> um, really, don't want to shame you or anything, but we are on the road to 500. This time last week, we were at like 408, and now we're like right around that fi uh, 450 mark. So um, got, got a really nice bump from the Slaughtered Lamb movie podcast guys, uh, you know, touting the channel a bit. So that's awesome and very much appreciated. Excuse me while I snort my snot and take a breath here. Um, thank you so much, Allie. I, I had a blast too. It just kind of went by. It was like a breeze, right? Because sort of watching the movie, sort of keeping an eye on, you know, the chat and everything. But uh, hopefully that was a great experience for everyone or at least a passable experience. Um, certainly if you've never seen the movie before, maybe you want to just uh, take a view, uh, viewing without me speaking, you can find the link in the description below. And you can also find the link in uh, for the Indiegogo in the description below. So uh, the campaign is going to be open through tomorrow, March 31st. So yeah, I urge you guys to pick up a copy of the Blu-ray. 40 bucks gets you a signed card that's got um, Vin's signature, um, Tom Matthews, um, Andrew Lady, and I feel like there was somebody else that I'm missing that also signed that. So yeah. Um, yeah, Ali says we should do this with Jason Rising and the ne other Never Hike Loans. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I picked this one because of the campaign and everything, but I love that you guys are enthused by this kind of thing. And like I said earlier in my live stream, I want to arrange like kind of like shows where I only do the show once a month, but like every week it, it rotates through one of those shows. So we'll do like franchise raking. Rate, raking. Yeah, we're going to rake a franchise across the coals and just tear that shit apart. No, <laughs> franchise ranking. Um, we'll, so we'll do franchise ranking, uh, movie date with Davey and Kate, uh, probably some other like collaboration with another YouTuber. And then, yeah, we can do um, these commentaries with, uh, you know, other fan films since it's something that we can share. So I think that's a great idea. Uh, appreciate that, Allie. And also, Gary, you had uh, mentioned doing Dylan's New Nightmare. So, yeah, maybe we can kind of mix it up. Um, what I really need to do, guys, is just put some polls out there and, and have everyone respond to the polls because, you know, I've said it before, like, you guys are the shareholders. I'm just the, you know, the CEO, I guess, of the channel. So I can't really do it without you guys. So I, I definitely want to make sure that we're bringing you the kind of content that you want to see that makes you want to come back, that makes you want to share it with other people. Um, and maybe for some of you, like it just makes you want to go and, and start your own channel. I mean, really the toughest part is shooting that first video. That's, that's the toughest part. Like, of course, keeping up with everything is a different kind of challenge. Uh, just get that first video out. You will feel a rush of adrenaline. Like you actually did it. You took that step. So any of you guys that are like thinking about, um, you know, jumping into YouTube, I totally encourage you and you can reach out to me through a DM if you want any advice or anything like that. A whole bunch of people helped me um, and continue to help me not only through collaboration and stuff like that, but just like helping me out with the bare basics. If Cecil from the Horror Show channel weren't such an awesome guy. Like, I don't know if I would have figured out 
like most of this stuff. So couldn't have done it without him. And I want to be able to pass that on to to you guys if you decide that you want to uh, jump into your own YouTube journey as a creator. Uh, Gary says, Rob Zombie's Halloween is not that great to me. Yeah, his first one, I don't really like it very much. Um, certain things are okay. Like, uh, I like seeing the Strodes get... <laughs> I don't like seeing the Strodes get killed. I think the Strode murder scene is... Um, where he kind of gets to bring his own flavor. It feels so real. Um, it, you know, bright lights in the home. Like, it just feels like you're watching something that actually happened instead of having the lighting sort of fit the slasher trappings and all that kind of stuff. But I think his video is just sort of... Or, sorry, his um, first movie is just sort of unnecessary. Have a great Easter, Alley. I hope I didn't miss you on the way out, but I probably did because I'm so blah, 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 blah on the mic. Uh, Gary, love you too, man. Um, yeah, guys, have a great rest of your Saturday night. Have an awesome Easter Sunday, you know, and if you don't celebrate Easter, you can still have an awesome Sunday. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on the channel. Kate and I are putting together, uh, our first movie date with Davey and Kate episode. So I'm aiming to have that out sometime this week. As always, I'll keep an eye on like the news. If something pops uh, or a trailer comes out that I'm interested in, I'll jump right on it after work and cover that as well. And yeah, we got a whole bunch of exciting things coming your way. Whole bunch of videos in the catalog. If you're new here, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. It certainly helps us get seen out there. And yeah, thank you guys again. Until next time, I've been and will continue to be Davey Deathray. Take care.